Hi, today we are going to um, study, we are going to learn how to calculate number of atoms and or molecules in any sample. Suppose I am, I am given with one cup of water. Water means what? Yes, it is H2O, right? So it contains H2O, one cup. Suppose and we need to know, yes, suppose it is given 10 gram. It can be any mass. So we need to know the mass and we can definitely calculate the number of atoms or here in case of it's a compound so we need to calculate the number of molecules of H2O okay so how many H2O molecules it contains we will just calculate that so we know that it's 10 gram and we also know one magical term one magical quantity in chemistry and what's that yes that it's mole concept and what's one mole one mole is just like one dozen what's one dozen how many Yes, yes, it says 12. So 12 entities, any any uh, quantity it can be, if it's one dozen, it has to be 12, right? So similarly, if it's one mole, it has to be 6, 0, 2, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, so many zeros. So I can, what I can do is, I can shrink it in terms of power of 10. It contains 6.022 into 10 raised to 23. So just like 1 dozen equal to 12 units, in the same way 1 mole is equal to 6.022 into 10 raised to 23. You need to remember this, right? You need to remember that. If 1 dozen equal to 12. So similarly, it's, it's pure number. 1 mole is a pure number which is applied, which is very useful in case of uh, calculating or counting the number of atoms or molecules. Okay. So if it's 1 mole, it is 6.022 into 10 raised to 23. So if I take 1 mole of water, what it means? Yes, it is 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 water molecules if you have a molecule one mole is also equal to the gram molecular mass of that substance so it's a water molecule what's the molecular mass of water yes that's 18 right so 18 how, how it came hydrogen ka mass is one unified mass oxygen atomic mass of oxygen is yes 16 unified mass so we have h2o right so what will be the mass of H2O? It has two oxygen, sorry, two hydrogen atoms, right? So two hydrogen atoms, one atom weighs one unified mass. So two atoms, so two unified mass, right? And one oxygen atom, that means 16 unified mass. If you add it up, it will be 18 unified mass, right? So we know that one molecule of water weighs 18 unified mass and about the mole concept one mole is also equal to for a compound it is also equal to the molecular mass in terms of gram yeah fair gram molecular mass so i can write this one mole of water as 18 but not in unified mass 18 gram that's a magical term about, about this quantity that you just need to copy the molecular mass the number only the number and you just to need to put the or change the unit here it was unified mass and here it will be gram so this is called gram molecular so now I know that So I know that 18 gram of water contains 
one mole of water molecules and one moles means how many at water molecules? Yes, it will be 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 water molecules. Right? Now we are very close to the final step. Let's see, students. So if it is 10 gram, now 18 gram corresponds to just forget this now. 18 gram corresponds to 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 water molecules. So it, if it is 10 gram of water, which we have, what is the number of molecule it contains? That we need to find, right? So let that be x, x water molecules. Okay. So just divide the terms. 18 by 10 is equal to 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 by x. And if you solve it up, it's like x is equal to 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 and into 10 by 18. It comes up as x is equal to 3.34 into 10 raised to 23. So that's the number of water molecules contained in this cup. Isn't that simple? Okay. So here we used the concept a very important concept of chemistry and what was that? It was mole concept. What is a number contained? How many is one mole? How many entities make one mole? Yes, it is 6.022 into 10 raised to 23. Guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, just go on and subscribe. Thank you.